Hey friends, in this video, we will be looking into how you can start off with remarketing campaigns in Google Ads. Now, what is a remarketing campaign? Basically, if a user comes to my website and that user sees all the products but doesn't purchase anything, then I would want Google Ads to target uh, specific ads to that particular user in order to complete the purchase. Right? So this is what remarketing campaign is. It simply means that whoever, whichever user has already seen the website but has not performed the desirable action, you can target ads to those specific, uh, you know, segment of audience and get the conversions done. Right? So in order to do this, you will need some details, some data, right? You will need the data for all the existing customers, all the existing audiences who have viewed your website but not purchased, right? So in order to do that, we have to create an audience list. And earlier in the video, I had said that uh, because we linked Google Analytics to Google Ads, it helps in creating and merging of, it helps in creation of audience list and we will be able to use that audience list which is created under Google Analytics in Google Ads. Now, you can also create an audience list under Google Ads by, you know, uh, launching a remarketing tag. But in case if you have linked analytics to Google Ads, it's way more easier, right? Because in analytics, it already, uh, you know, uh, collects all of those data. So it's pretty much easier for us to make an audience list under Google Analytics. And because we have linked it, we can use that list under Google Ads as well. Right. One more thing that is very much helpful under Google Analytics uh, audience list is that we have additional flexibility with Google Analytics, right? Uh, we can automate the whole process of inclusion and exclusion of the audience. I'll come to, uh, you'll, you'll get what I mean uh, as we go through the process, but simply said it has additional flexibility over Google Ads. Right? Firstly, under Google Analytics, you have to go to the admin panel. Right, so under this, you can scroll down and uh, see audiences over here. Once you click on that, you'll be able to see that there are two lists already created. That is all users. It includes the list of all the users that have you know visited the website. And second one is purchases. All the users who have made the purchases. Now, since we are you know looking for a list who have visited the website but have not completed the purchase, we'll have to create a new audience. You can click on new audience and click on create a custom audience. Uh, over here, you uh, so basically in this, you'll have to firstly include all the users that needs to be included in the list and then add a condition, oh, sorry, add a group that is that needs to be excluded. So firstly, you can include the page view. This simply means that everybody who has waived the page will be included in the list. So in under parameter, you have to add page location and under location, uh, you have to write what word you will have you what word the url contains right so in my case if anybody views any product on the website it will definitely contain the url uh, hashtag ha sorry slash product slash under the url now this simply indicates that any user you viewing that particular product will be counted as one user right next we okay firstly you have to change this to permanently exclude users when and then add condition group under add new you can include the purchase uh, okay and add parameter of event count which will be more than zero now this simply means that any time if, as a, if there's a purchase done, which will be more than zero, right? It, uh, it simply means anything more than zero, one, two, three, etc. Those particular users will be automatically uh, excluded from the list, Ex will be automatically deleted from this particular list. So it keeps updating itself, it keeps evaluating itself. So you don't have to put in work, it's automated, right? This is the major advantage of you, you're creating um, audience list under Google Analytics. And then you can click on save. Uh, okay, so this is the audience that I created. 
you can also name it over here i'll click on audience simply put audience list for remarketing campaign and save now if i again go and check audiences i can see that uh, this is created right now it takes up to 12 to 24 hours to collect all the data right and uh, it will also be available under google ads but again we'll have to wait for a while before we move to the next step of getting the list on google ads and you know setting up the remark remarketing campaign because it takes like almost 12 to 24 hours to collect the required data so it's always advisable to wait at least 24 hours before you move for the further steps that's it for this video in next video we'll, we'll look into how you can create remarketing campaigns under google ads using this particular list see you in the next one hey guys in this video we will be looking into how you can create your remarketing campaign under google ads so with the audience list that you have created right the audience which have visited your website but have not purchased it as i said it takes up to 24 hours to you know be visible so firstly you should go to tools and settings and audience manager and i'm uh, looking into this website uh, after about 30 hours so uh, before a while as in before like 12 hours it was not visible yet so now it is uh, as you can see audience for re remarketing this was the name that i had given uh, okay i'll just show you over here as you can see audience for remarketing audience list for remarketing campaign this is the name that i've given right so it's visible and for all the other you know uh, all the other lists as you can see there is this tag of automatically created so it means that it is created by google ads itself but for this one as it is created by me under analytics it is not written as automatically created right so one thing that you require before you start off with remarketing campaign is that under there are uh, for four types of campaigns that you can run search youtube display and gmail campaign so uh, for there's a you know minimum limit size that you have to cover up in order to run that particular campaign let's say search youtube and gmail for these three you need at least a minimum of 1000 users of a thousand users data under your particular list right so this particular search youtube and gmail all of them need thousand users data but for display it is just 100 users cool so after this uh, after you know this and after the criteria are met for whichever ad you want to run you can go ahead and go to campaign oh sorry create a new campaign right so in this i'll go with uh, create a campaign without any goals guidance under that i'll go with display and click on continue firstly after clicking on display you should put up your website for the business and then you can click on continue all right so next thing would be the basic settings that is location language and i'll just leave all this default and click on next you can change it as per your preference again the average budget i'll leave it to 100 and then next now this is the main part over here okay uh so yeah basically uh you should go to ads target ad targeting and audience segment would be visible over here you should click on the edit button or else it can also be visible over here depending upon your view uh so you should click on edit button over here go to browse and then choose how they have interacted with your website your data and similar segments it basically means the users how the users have interacted with your website in my case it is that they have viewed the website but not made any purchases and then click on website visitors once you do that you'll be able to see all the list of the audiences that were that is available in google ads so this is the one that i created i'll select this and click on done so next and over here again you can 
or create a responsive display ad and yeah all these options will be available under this you'll have to put your business name image logo you don't require video because it's a display ad and basic headlines long headlines and description once you do this will be good to go and you can create your specific campaign that you desire for again we have uh, covered all the creation of campaigns under a different course you can check that out too and that's it for this one see you in the next video